has no weight. If there's probable cause, you have somebody answer the complaint. But if you cannot find someone guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, they have done nothing. They walk out no, of there again. with their presumption of innocence intact. How clear can that be? There is nothing no, I to think answer. That, I think that, he had a right to remain I think that part is clear. No, I, I, I think that part is clear, Judge. Let, let, me just, let, me just, silent, let, let me move the conversation the forward. Proving his guilt. It did not. So he stands. Right. So according. I guess what... what Right. So what, what I, what I want to do is just move the conversation up a little bit. I think you and I agree that legally he's not guilty, that legally he doesn't have any burden of proof. The state does and it hasn't met that. Legally, his rights, his rights were violated. We're on the same page about that. This, I, I'm saying the legal question to me is rock solid. Can we hold space for two ideas at the same time? Can someone under the eyes of the law be completely not guilty? And at the same time, can we have a public conversation? Because I know you talk about culture, you talk about our community, you talk about values. Can we also talk about the fact that someone can be doing great harm and even be a predator at the same time that legally they're all the things you just said? No, because the law presumes them innocent until you prove them guilty. It is a specious thing. That's part of this new paradigm where everybody gets a trophy a participation ribbon. Nobody's feelings get hurt. Freedom of speech gets restricted if somebody feels uncomfortable or undelighted by what is being said. That's not our reality. So, so let me ask you, let me ask you a question. When, when George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin and the jury found him not guilty, are, do you feel that the, the black community should not have continued to express outrage and call George Zimmerman a killer because under the law he was innocent? They should express outrage with themselves for lacking such political influence in the selection of the district attorney or in the even weight assigned to them. See, the rules are the same. But from my perspective, I think of all the black folk that have called me over the last 35 of jury service, all of the black folk that voted a handout where you've got a racist idiot on that handout for judge and they don't even pay attention to who's on the ballot. I think of all of the black folk who don't go out and vote for sheriff or effectively for mayor or for the district attorney and complain about it. See, when you have an opportunity to do something about it, do it. And see, most of the people that are off in the penitentiaries are not in there for playing Robin Hood. They rob from their neighbors burglarized their neighbors, killed their neighbors, raped their neighbors, sold poison to their neighbors. And the other thing is, it's not guns. It's not any excuse. It's we have got a lack of manhood and masculinity in our neighborhoods. See, masculinity is the imposition of a set of behavioral standards on a boy. So when the boy grows into a man, he has some things he has to do that he cannot get away with that he is compelled to look to, making where he lives a better, safer, more secure place filled with economic prosperity, sense of purpose, morality, and ethics. He is a man of public peace, dignity, and order, who is a man of peace, who can be a brave and courageous man when necessary. See, we have to start <laughs> taking Judge, our for a minute. back. We're going to take a... Judge, I want, I want to hear more about that, Judge. We're going to take a quick break. If we, again, assuming Bill Cosby does it, it, take the legal stuff off the table, if we look at the depositions, the very thing that got him ultimately, uh, the, the, the thing that ultimately got him locked up, and those depositions, and he's talking about the, the, the various women he had sex with, with giving them alcohol and pills, whether it's Quaaludes or Benadryl. If you look at the dozens of women who come forward and accuse him, is there room to say, look, Bill Cosby can come home because the prosecutor was wrong, but Bill Cosby also has to be accountable for what he represents and for the what acts about of these women uh, and for being predator like accountable. behavior. What about say these women being accountable for their own behavior? They were groupies. Well, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll, sex, drugs, rap, sex, drugs, baseball, football, basketball, movies, television. See. Yeah, but, but, but we're not talking about Bill Cosby. Saying, we forgot what that term meant. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. The bimbos come to the party. They hang out. They get drunk. They snort lines of blow. And they have a good time. 
they used the hall closets to give head, the bathrooms to get down, and you go in to get your coat off of the bed and they're laying on top of it doing somebody. See, that's what that's about. So, yeah, but, I but, mean, but just, let's not it, it get saying the movies be conceptual, though. 30, 40, 50 years after something was in big time style. When this stuff started out, the sexual revolution was going on. And a lot of women well, well, got so, so into they, they, it deeply. Okay, but so, so there's two things mean, you raised. The but first, is, yes, no, but first we, we, let's, let's talk about Bill Cosby. We can, we can talk about the women, but let's talk about Bill Cosby. Let's talk about Bill Cosby for a second, because that's the, the person we're talking about. Is, I, my what question was, you? is there room to, to, to... What did he do? Well, according to the deposition, he gave women pills, and in one deposition, he, he specifically he said pills. he didn't he know didn't whether. Force it down he, their no, let me finish. He didn't take advantage of them. Well, Look at that interview Whoopi Goldberg did with that model Johnson. Whoopi got all. So, so, so wait a minute. You're trying to so tell hold me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Judge. Let me ask the question. He found out you were high. He called a cab, took the elevator down with you, put you in the cab, paid your fare, tipped the man, and sent you home because you were high. So what did he do? So, to- so in, one, in one deposition, so, so judge, in one deposition specifically, when he was asked the question, uh, was he sh- was he sure that the woman was sober enough to consent? He said, I don't know. Um, but there's a there's a bigger question here is if you if someone willingly takes pills and becomes high and drunk, can they legally consent? Sometimes you can. Used to be you could. They had a change in there. Back 25 years ago, when they were saying no, you can't. But before that, basically, you could. That's why they told right. you. So, but we're talking about the law. But, so, 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 so then, judge again. See, since you're saying we should appeal to the law, to be, if the law says that you can't be intoxication, where you did something to them, they didn't consent to. See, that's right. when that law started changing yeah. from. You got yourself drunk, you are responsible to know the bartender's responsible because he lets you get drunk. That's when that change yes, Bill started Cosby, coming Bill about. Cosby's admitting, Bill, Bill Cosby's admitting to giving women alcohol and pills for the purpose of having sex, and if by the law Most you can't consent if you're drink drunk or, 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 or high. You go out to dinner or you have a party or something. So yeah, but that, that that's not the same. The question that, that's irrelevant, Judge. Of because they do something they would have done anyway. A whole lot of them, I yes. mean, back in that, the that, years, that, that, that's sexual assault, Judge. Particularly qualities. They did that a lot. I had a lot of female clients I had to get out of messes because they had a fondness for qualities. It's not cool. Yeah, but but it's I mean, okay to take- don't you bear any responsibility for this? Especially if you keep going no. back. So... so so, Judge, let, let, let me, let me, I want to lay this out plainly, just so, and I'll give you a chance to respond. I'll even give you the last word. Um, if you give someone drugs and alcohol, even if they want to take the drugs and alcohol, if they get to a point where they are inebriated, where they are high or drunk, you cannot have sex with them. It is not sex. It becomes rape. And even by the legal standard the law that you're saying we should appeal states. to. W- w- That's only the oh, law in certain okay, states. Okay. It's not for every state. And it goes into the same philosophy. It goes into the same thing. I didn't word. know I was going to get that drunk, so it ain't my fault. I got a DUI and kill somebody. How you think that's going? You. Are you dumb? <laughs>